All right, guys, welcome to another video. Y'all, I know this is a Halloween bag, but this needs to stop. As you know from the title, this is another haul video, and this is what I found that I liked in the truck for January 13th. So, if you have a Tuesday morning near you and you like any of these things, feel free to pick them up because this needs to stop. I need to stop this. This madness, this craziness needs to stop. It needs to stop right now. And so this is an overview of all the happy. Hi, my name is Daisy and it has been less than a day since I last shopped at Tuesday morning. I just need to put that out there. Let's see how far I can get. This is day one, we shall see. So <laughs> the first thing I'm going to share with you is not a, it's not a scrappy thing, but it's a thing that interesting nonetheless. These were 25% off from $2.99. They're dark chocolate covered figs. We'll see how those work out. If they taste good, I'll let you know in a further video. The next thing I grabbed was the Spectrum Noir Glitter Inks and they're in the metallics. I kind of have mixed feelings about this, not a mixed review because I've used them once already. I made this card. I sprinkled some of that sparkle stuff and I have dots of it and uh, you guys, the glitter comes off. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. I don't know how much of the glitter will come off. I don't know if I keep rubbing this. All of the glitter will come off eventually. So uh, off the bat, this is the in the clear, by the way. So already off the bat, I'm I'm having mixed feelings about this Spectrum Noir stuff. This lady swore by it that um, was a customer at my store. I also work at Tuesday morning and that's why I mentioned the truck. It usually comes in on Mondays for us and so we unload it and I get to see all the fun stuff that comes in. So this lady swore by the Spectrum Noir stuff. She said she had all the inks and I had mentioned to her that I had picked up the clear and she told me, oh yeah, they're wonderful, they work great, but I didn't expect for that to happen. I don't know if you guys can tell, my thumb is glittery. So I picked up the glitter inks in the Onyx Black, Sterling Silver, and in the Spun Gold. They're $8.99. I don't know if I'm going to like them, but if they do the same thing where they rub off on your finger, I'll let you guys know. If anybody knows a solution to that, please list it down below. I would love to hear from. If you have these, please let me know and let, tell me how, what you think of them so that other people that watch these type of videos can know. Anyway, moving on. I also found the Saturday afternoon Rotary date stamp. This has dates from 2014 all the way to 2025. The next thing I picked up is this Paige Evans book binding guide. I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I like that Coptic style of binding, but I don't, I, I want to be honest with myself and I want to make sure that this is something that I'm really going to use. And right now that's debatable, especially because I don't use the traveler's notebooks, but wouldn't these be cool to make and send, especially with all that crafty paper um yes okay moving on oh it does come with six things it says everything you need to make custom saddle coptic and japanese bound books it doesn't tell you what they are okay let's see the back the book binding guide the all curved and straight needle wax thread and instruction so it even has instructions on how to make this i found the ephemera they have the frames and tags and this is the die cut cardstock pieces i almost had a tongue twister with that. This one is Our Family by Karina Gardner. This is the frames and tags and I think I also saw the ephemera which I thought this was and I guess I put it back because I thought I had pulled twice of the same thing. The next thing I found was the Magic Stamps Magic Acrylic Set 1 from Dear Lizzie. Apparently, I guess there's gonna be more than one set. I only found one. I only saw one when I was pulling these out, but it has a double layer of flowers. I think what you do is you do the color and then you can stamp the outline in black. You can do like the double layering like that. It has the rainbow in two different sets so you can put them together. And I'm assuming the same thing for these shapes as well. I didn't notice it until I took a closer look at it right now. So it comes with 19 sets or 19 pieces. $2.99 for that. The other thing I found was the Vicky Booten White Foundations Paper. This is in a six by eight pad, but it comes with this paper and it's supposed to be for mixed media. I picked this up for a friend. It comes with 12 pieces for $2.99. It's 140 pound, so it's really thick paper. I also found her stamp set. Oh, I love the leaves. I wish that had a die cut. This is the Wildflower set. So there's that set. I found this Amy Tangerine cards and envelope stationery pack. This comes with one of each design and it has these cards and little pockets. 
and I thought this the storefront one was cute. This one right here. It's his bookshop. That is adorable. I also found the clear stickers. I like the fat cat with the glasses. $2.99 to 280 pieces. It has an alpha. Okay, they're not all clear stickers, thank goodness, because I didn't want all clear stickers. That is a like a cardstock sticker. This feels a lot thicker than the sticker books. This is a, a nice one to pick up. And I don't like, I don't really like all the weekday stickers. That's another cardstock, by the way. This is a clear one. And I do like the size of the Alpha. The Alpha is super cute. I found thickers. This is from Head in the Clouds. And it's this lovely colored gold. It's not very yellow. It's got a very nice tone to it. $2.29 for that. I also found these alphabets. These are from The Happy. I think this is a Dear Lizzie collection. I'm not sure. $1.99 for those. I probably should have picked up two. But again, I saw a lot of stuff. So I couldn't go crazy. I couldn't go crazy. <laughs> this one is from Vicky Budin. <laughs> and it has the black and gold. The black is glossy and the gold is a nice tone as well. So this other thing is called BU. These are foam phrase stickers. These are from the Amy Tangerine collection, I bet. I don't even know what the collection is called right now. They have glitter. It's like a multicolor glitter, but the elements are all cute and they're smaller, you guys. Everybody talks about how big elements are getting. This one is all smaller elements and it's super cute. So here is the embossed puffy stickers. These are so cute from Amy Tangerine. The puffy part isn't so squishy, so there's that. This is from the, I don't know what collection this one is from. It's the Dear Lizzie for sure, because that's the same floral. So something about magic. If anybody knows the name of that collection, let me know. They're chipboard sets. They have these nice ones, but see, this one is big compared to these. Those are big. Maybe the chipboard. I don't know if she has a chipboard collection, uh, Amy Tangerines. I also found the accent and phrase stickers from this collection from Dear Lizzie. This is a different one. I also found, I don't know which collection this is, but this is from Vicky Booten. I love her little chipboard sets. I like the banners, even though I don't usually gravitate to that, all the tassels and stuff, but they're very cute to include. I found the three sets from these, let me say, some people picked up like the really formal collection. I just picked up the ones that I liked. This has different types of hearts cut out. It has little white ones, little holographic clear ones, pink glittered ones, and then some tinier, tinier ones. I'm going to have a lot of, a load of trouble if I do that because these are all staticky. I also picked up this one. This one has snowflakes and then it has faceted gems and I really liked that. These would be really cool for shakers and it has these snowflakes so I thought that was really cool most people just show the can and I just lost a gem but it has those I thought that was really cool for $2.29 I don't know what the regular price for these are and I don't know what brand they're from either this one's called fun flurries so these were $2.99 I've never shopped these before but I really liked the white ones because you can use them in pretty much anything and then this one comes with little stars that are also faceted they're not as dimensional as the little round gem this one is just round and it doesn't have any facets like this it's not gem looking it's kind of just a round drop shape and um, I can use my alcohol markers to color them over if I really wanted to but I like the clear look of them and I like the shapes of the stars I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera those are the little stars I'll, I'll try and see if I can put in some some pictures of the close-up of these gems and the confettis after the video. This is a 9x12 handbook 7 paper 10 page protector set and they come in the little 3x3 square. So I thought this would be cool for like where layouts that I have like multiple photos in. Hopefully I can make them smaller or I can just cut out the excess part of the photo and focus on something. So here is the Amy Tangerine book. This is titled Slice of Life. So that's the collection. I haven't heard of this collection but I do. Uh, I haven't seen it either. This wasn't on my radar. Scrappy radar. Okay, you guys, you guys have to hurry. <laughs> but I love the rainbow, the rainbow hearts, stripe, chevron, I think, uh, sprinkles. There's a, there's a camera with a cute rainbow strap. This is adorable. I love the bright colors of this collection. A leopard, eh, okay. Floral. The green I love. This is such pretty autumnal colors, but it doesn't say autumn to me, I guess. I mean, they could just be very colorful leaves. In, in her world, in this little lovely pretzels, dotted lines, bicycles. Oh, that one's weird on my eyes. 
I love this one. So cute. Papery Cafe Bookshop Bread and Cakes. That's all you need in life. <laughs> Florals. This is so cute. This little paper that we just saw. It's green with little yellow flowers. A rainbow stripe. This is like cut up confetti looking with a black background. And then it goes back to the hearts again. This is such a cute collection. It doesn't have a lot of weird stuff, I guess. Because sometimes she comes up with really crazy motifs. Like the giraffes and all that. Yeah, I can do this. This is doable. And then I also found the Spring Market collection from Echo Park Paper. It comes with the six papers. Twelve. Twelve double-sided and the sticker sheet. So that's awesome. I'm already loving that one. I, I have to hurry because I have to go to work. And then I also found the Hello Again collection by Caitlin Schaefer. This is why I need to stop because... I gotta, I'm got. i finding so many cute things and I know some things are coming up and I, I wanna say, oh, I'm gonna join the no spend wagon. Yeah, it never happens for me. But this is such a pretty collection. I love the geometric heart. I love the little people with the little hearts in the middle after you pull off the little border sticker. That's cute. Also, the last thing I found, cause paper's usually on the bottom of my stuff. Come on scissors, work with me. Is this Willow collection by One Canoe 2. It comes with copper foil. It has 36 sheets for $6.99. I also loved the colors of the collection. I've never seen them. I really, oh, that floral is so pretty. I never really follow new trends or new, new collections either because I mean, I just don't buy them regularly priced. So if they come in Tuesday morning and I like it, I usually pick it up. I've learned that I don't sit on things. This is really nice. I think somebody made a layout just recently that I saw in the Facebook groups with this. And then she made green elements here and she had a picture. So super lovely. Oh man, I wish I knew who it was right off the bat. That's so cool. That's different. I'm sorry I'm not talking a lot about this. I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. And I just wanted to show you guys what I saw in the truck. Now it's repeating and the calligraphy is nice on that. Uh, such lovely paper, I really love it. I really love the greens. I'm ready for greens. I'm ready for anything colorful, but out of everything. Oh my God, this Amy Tangerine collection. So cute. Slice of life. Pick it up. I thought I saw the ephemera. I guess not. Or that's the only thing that was missing that I didn't see. But it. I found several things from that collection. The phone stickers. The sticker book. There was a, a set of puffies, but the puffies were huge. But if you want them, they're there. So, I mean, you can really start layouts with all of that. If that's all you find, that's enough to make a collection. In my eyes. I don't know if you need everything else, but I mean, with all the crap that we have, I mean things, I mean inventory that we have <laughs> in our rooms, I'm sure we can make this collection complete. Like, I already know I have leaf dyes like this. I can use that or make florals or punch out hearts. I don't have pretzels, but bikes. Like, Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave me any comments down below. What was your favorite part of my haul? And uh, let me know what you find in your neck of the woods or what you would hope to find. Anyway, I'm leaving because I'm going to be late for work. <laughs> it's almost time for me to head out. Have a great day wherever you are. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!